We're here at Alma College prior to the NCAA Division III uh, playoff game, uh, third round. Um, Alma College, uh, represented by Carter St. John, Gage Nelson, Jalen Dunwoody, Reese Townsend, and Coach Jason Couch. Coach, congratulations on, uh, on your success to this point. Um, would you like to get into questions, or do you have an opening statement to make? Um, we're very excited for tomorrow. Obviously, Cortland is, a, Cortland is an outstanding team, and uh, but it, it's you know a thrill to be be playing, and uh, we're very excited to be home. Uh, of course, uh, lots of alums will be here and ready to cheer these guys on. I wanted to ask a question. I'll start it off to the offensive uh, players who are here today. Um, I, I, something that, that I heard a lot in the in, in the media that's um, that since the last game is that it was a, a surreal result. Couldn't couldn't believe what what had happened, and I'm curious to know if it's sunken in for uh, for everybody else that uh, that they've that they've reached this point. Put Reese on the spot. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, it was <clears throat> definitely surreal. Um, we. We relied heavily on our defense most of the game as we were struggling for the most part. But in the fourth, uh, we decided we might as well play. And, um, <laughs> and then it kind of hit us after uh, Brock's pick. That was huge for us, kind of the turning point. And then we just marched on the field. And now it, after the game, we enjoyed it. But then right on Sunday, we were focused on the night. Yeah. Great. Uh, Gage Carter, do you have anything to add to that? Uh, I wouldn't say it's quite sucked in yet, but we kind of have to move on. Obviously, a historic moment for the college, uh, but you know we still have another game to play uh, in the third round. So um, it's an awesome moment. Still trying to take it in. Probably won't really hit me until like 45 years from now. But um, just trying to focus on the next game because that's the most important. Uh, yeah, I kind of with Carter. I probably didn't enjoy as much as I should have. I also feel like that's my dad kind of asked him, you know, who won, who was who playing next. So I would didn't sink in as much as I should. Give it a few years and maybe it will. Coach, I wanted to ask you. Um, Thinking about that, uh, that that game in review, I'm not sure if you've uh, you know I'm not sure if you check game tape uh, of games you've completed, but uh, did anything uh, uh, strike out to you that may not have necessarily come out of the immediate post game interview as being particularly interesting or noteworthy? Um, I think it goes back offensively the first half. You know there were some positives, and and it didn't look like it stats wise or or scoreboard, but there were a few positives. It's just. We, we stalled out at times, um, something that we need to address, that we let a, a lull in play, whether it's uh, an injury or a, a timeout or, a, you know, a end of a quarter, we got to make sure that we can get that energy right back going. Um, but like Bree said, defense, man, did it carry the team. And, uh, you know, offense is going to get a whole lot of publicity and, and rightfully so for that fourth quarter, but that defense, you know, played outstanding and kept, uh, you know, Mount Union to, to 20 points in, in 99 plays in, in 40 minutes. That's unbelievable. And uh, thankful that we're, we're healthy. We came out of that game, you know, physically healthy. And, uh, you know, these two guys here were big, you know, reasons why we were still in that. and and ready for the offense to ignite there in the fourth. In as much as you're comfortable doing so, can you talk about Cortland and, and what you've seen from them in, in your review, a uh, scouting report of uh, your, your opponent this weekend? Sure. Uh, well, they are obviously a very good ball club. They wouldn't be here if they weren't. Um, what I am impressed with them is the consistency among you know their team. Um, this is out of respect, but there aren't they're just a very strong team all across the board in all positions, right? There's, they're not relying on one person in particular to, to carry them, right? And uh, that makes it harder to game plan, obviously. You, you can't just focus on one. Uh, you got to be ready for all their weapons that are on offense, you know, their quarterback running back, and they've got some threats um, on the outside. And uh, so these guys will have their hands full defensively. Um, their corners are playing really good ball right now with uh, with strong linebackers and pretty darn big line, defensive line. So, uh, but 
again, well coached and, and a good team. I wanted to ask Jalen specifically if there was uh, anything in particular that uh, that you had your eye on uh, as we uh, as we get ready for the game. As, as I understand it, Corlin's uh, uh, quarterback is uh, uh, very highly regarded, and uh, how does that uh, um, figure into into game planning for this weekend? Uh, yeah, so you know they definitely have our respect. Um, yeah. Quarterback is a very good quarterback. Um, <clears throat> isn't isn't really nothing we haven't seen you know in the past, but we can definitely get after him with our defensive line uh, using that to our advantage, uh, keep him in the pocket. Got a couple good defensive play calls to make sure he doesn't get outside because we know he could be a very dangerous threat. I'll ask uh, Jalen Reese uh, specifically um, what um, the atmosphere on campus has uh, has been like uh, since uh, last Saturday, and uh, what you expect to see uh, tomorrow. Home game. So yeah, the atmosphere has been you know everything you could imagine. Uh, we just set the standards to a very high standard and tend to um, stand on business. You know, just keep moving forward as our. Other athletic sports are still playing. They just look up to us, and you know we just hope they make us. You know, just yeah. Yeah, pretty happy. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, it's just nice to support from everyone. Uh, a lot of staff around campus. If I'm just wearing a football shirt or my hat, they're always good luck this weekend. Go get them. And then just the amount of people like our team's Facebook page that are excited for the game, excited to be here and watch us play again. And then, like Jalen said, the students all joining in with us and being there and supporting us. It's real nice. I'll put you on the spot, Coach. You've been uh, with Elma uh, since the roughly the, the mid '90s. Um, have you have you seen uh, uh, campus relate to this uh, uh, team like that in your in your time here? In 1994. Uh, um, as a sophomore, and uh, it was it was pretty electric then. We we were going against we were seven and zero against another seven and zero LBN team, and uh, that was a pretty exciting time to be on campus. Um, winter we anticipated was definitely going to be in the playoffs, and uh, we weren't sure about the the losing team. And uh, unfortunately. Uh, Elbian came out on top, knocked us out of the playoffs. They went on to win the national championship. And uh, so that was, it was fun. That was a lot of fun. But this right here, um, I don't think can be matched. Uh, the amount of alums that have reached out to me, I came off of practice and had four messages waiting for me. And I tried to tell these guys, I don't think they'll understand or can, can fathom how many people that they've uh, they've reached because of the impact, uh, you know, that 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 pride that's back for them and and excitement. So, uh, this is for you, Coach. But I think that that anybody can answer. It's also my last question. But. Um, I, I don't know if it was if it was your perception or if it was just the the perception of others, but but I had heard that uh, that this team was an underdog uh, going into its last game, and I'm wondering if your mentality around this game changes at all. I don't know who would be you know considered a, an underdog in uh, in this one uh, if there is one, um, but just going from that underdog mentality into something perhaps different uh, for this week. If that changes, if that changes your, your Personally, mental status, I don't yeah. think I've ever coached these guys any different. Whether yeah. or not somebody might call us an underdog or, or yeah. a favorite, I yeah. I don't want to use the word I don't care, but um, really I, I don't because yeah. um, once the kick, ball's kicked off, you know it's just playing football, yeah. and uh, somebody saying you're a whatever point favorite or whatever point underdog. Doesn't matter at that point, right? Both teams want to win, and <clears throat> we're preparing the same whether we're favorites or not. So, uh, yeah, last week, I, my understanding is we were quite a bit uh, of underdog, and that shows, you know, you got to prepare no matter what. Yeah. Good. You like? Good. Thank you, gentlemen.